네 시청자 여러분 안녕하십니까 상식의 비구름 물다 센서 수트입니다 이번에는 전황 소식이 아닌 우크라이나 현지 소식을 전달하겠습니다 이번에 제가 5대4 시민분과 인터뷰를 하는데 성공했습니다 현지 상황상 실시간 인터뷰가 아닌 영상을 통해서만 답변을 할수 있다는 점 양해 바랍니다 그리고 지역 특성상 슬라브틱한 영어를 사용하시기 때문에 의역을 많이 했습니다 이점 유의해 주시기 바랍니다 5대4에 사는 맥스씨와의 인터뷰 영상 같이 보도록 하겠습니다 Hey, what's up? I'm Max. I'm 27 year old from Odessa. And right now is the uh, second marriage uh, 2 a.m. right here in Ukraine. As you can see over here, it's pretty dark. So uh, I'm from Odessa, as I said, and the current situation is pretty much safe. Well, it's been like six days since last, uh, since the first missile attack, and it was like the 24th of February at 5 a.m. I wake up to a sound like. Mm, something like that and uh, people said that it was like three uh, missiles and I heard only like I wake up to the last one probably so I wake up and I heard only one so probably the first two wake me like make, wake me up and then like the moment I wake up I realize only the last one and uh, I got into uh, social media and all of all of my friends and relatives so they're all awake They were all online, we write each, each other down like, hey, what's happened? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? And then I searched throughout news, like from whole Ukraine, and just like, they're bombarding every, each, each and every city. And I was in shock for like five, five or 10 minutes. And then I realized that it said that uh, Russia aiming their missiles towards airports and some kind of like military bases, something like that. So. They're not uh, he, uh, trying to hit uh, civilians and cities. So uh, the mood in Odessa right now is pretty much okay. Yeah, well, uh, unlike few different few other cities in Ukraine, Odessa is pretty much safe right now. They do not attack us. They just send one missile a day. I, I hear I hear only one missile a day. And this is kind of like terrifying just to keep us in tunnels, probably something like that. So, mood is pretty much like, yeah, we are okay. Uh, there was a missile attack today, but it's in Odessa region, like 25 kilo kilometers from Odessa, and everything is pretty much okay as, as long as they know. Probably someone died, but only one person, unfortunately, yeah. I don't know yet. We have heard about, about Russian attacks since. Like uh, end of November, we know about that. The Russian build up uh, army near there, near our borders, near Ukraine, right? And my uh, my city Odessa is not bordering with Russia, but we have uh, Black Sea, and we have uh, yeah. So only have, we only have Black Sea. That's what what can that's the Russian came from Black Sea. Yeah, and preparations. This kind of stuff preparation is as long uh, as I realized, as you can say, uh, we can say that they were bombarding at us at 5 a.m. at 24th of uh, February, and they and they bombard all of our airports, but no one dies, and we didn't lose any of uh, our uh, uh, like uh, military uh, sp spaceships, because like because our government has been prepared for that, they know about that, they didn't say anything but they prepared for that and uh, we we couldn't like we didn't know about that but like we prepare for bad and bad happened and we are prepared for that. so that's all what i can say what what i can say what i think well in my city is okay but we have a lot of uh, we call them their gear it means their diversions and they try to well they go go around odessa and try to place some marks some uh, like some radars some marks make some Kind of this thing, just to, so they will attack our desk at yeah, the right thing. So they put like some strategic, uh, like they put marks on strategic, strategic things in Odessa. So rockets will try to hit it, but so far we didn't have that much of missiles right now. As I, as I said before, like one a day, something like that. Everyone forget about COVID-19. Honestly, like I know people are still have problems with that, but everyone forget about that and. We have a lot of people. They not not using. They are not using masks. They are in shelters, and no one gives a shit about COVID-19. Yes, it's a lot of food in Odessa, and yet we send a lot of food and we send a lot of our supply, and we have a list of things that is needed in cities where uh, currently is going to is like war right now. So uh, there is a fight. Like 
in Kyiv, Kherson, Sumy, Odessa, Kharkiv, and Mariupol, and a bunch of lot of different uh, cities. And they're like they really need our food, our help, and a lot of our like uh, army. So we send from Odessa food and everything to them. Yeah. Interview 응해주신 맥스 씨께 감사의 말씀을 드리겠습니다. 감사합니다.